Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Radio DeBong's Embracing Diversity show. And we have a special hostess today. Good morning. I am Dr. Zeneva Williams. I am the scholarship coordinator for Safe Diversity Communities. And so excited to be here this morning. Yes, well, Mrs. Scott is a little under the weather. Yes, she is. So I am here to try to take her place so yeah we, oh. we yeah we gonna you know she's got some really big shoes to fill so we're going to uh see how we how we do this morning all right. <laughs> compared to her all right well we have some other guests here in the uh radio station um th so for those of you that listen to uh things or watch us on safe diversity we have monthly outreach events and one big important segment for that is the health and fitness segment and we have two people here in the station who help us with that every month say hello to everybody hello everyone i'm jj williams the one half of body by jj okay and i am jj's brother Cy Williams. So it's happy to be here. And on our half of J and J B, which is short for JJ Autism Voices. Nice. All right. All right. Okay, we have uh, one other guest over here. All right. That needs to speak. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jasmine Harrison and I am one of the ambassadors of Safe Diversity. Nice. Right. And then we have our special guest today. You have heard and seen her before, and actually, um, we I had the pleasure of meeting her in person just recently over at the Safe Diversity Office. Please tell everybody who you are and what you do. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Crystal Gomez, and I'm a financial services professional, and I'm here today on behalf of the scholarship my family and I are presenting to Safe Diversity in order to send children to college and school. All right. Woo all right. So Ms. Zanova, can you tell us all about the scholarship program? Yes, our scholarship program, we have actually three, which is so awesome. So we have our ambassadors, just like um, Jasmine said, it starts at sixth grade, it goes through um, 11th grade, and then we have our three pillar scholarship, which is our seniors. If you're a high school senior and would like to participate in the program, please reach out to us. You can also, if you're watching on Facebook, you go back and see this, please leave comments and we will get with you. And then we also have our college ambassadors. And so those are our students who have been through our program. They have graduated and now they are on to the second part of their lives. And so they're in college and they can still participate in the program and have an opportunity to win a scholarship. And so we are super excited about that. Oh my gosh. You know, when this first started, when I started getting involved, there was just one scholarship program yes. <laughs> for graduating high school seniors. And we did our best to collect uh, funds for these kids that are going off to college. But then it's like, well, they're off to college, but we're still in touch because Safe Diversity continues to stay in touch not just with the students but also their families yes yes and i love that about this organization is as our students are in the program we make a connection with the family because we know that sometimes you have students that go through things but then the family are going through things as well and so with the wonderful partnerships that we have and the networking that we do throughout the year we're able to connect those families to resources they may need, um, you know, whether it be um, uh, mental health, um, you know, environment, but we make those connections. And so we follow these students throughout their college career because we want to see, you know, we start at the beginning, but we want to see where does it end. And so we're excited because we have students who they have gone off to college and graduated, but they come back and they are now giving of their time, their gifts and their talents and their abilities to save diversity 
why because safe diversity was there for them it's a it's a family connection and so we love that um and just like you know our host here she's a lawyer and so by her being a lawyer those connections that we make we have families um that are you know have um a disability but also that don't have and so we can make that connection with her because somebody may need may need services and we have this you know beautiful lawyer that's here that says okay this is what i do and yes i'm here to help and you know if not then guess what she can pass you off to someone else to say hey i'm not able to help but here is someone that i know and we love that that we make those uh connections for our families oh yes the collaboration with all the different people that uh are with safe diversity communities and if you ha want to call in and talk to any of our guests the number here at radio debong is 713-974-4000 but dr zanova how can people find out more about our scholarship program um they can al always you know contact us through um our website um you can also you know come out to uh be with us um, you know, when we meet. So we um, do workshops the first Saturday of every month, um, and that's virtual. But then on the fourth Saturday of every month, we have community service, and that is in person. And so we give our students an the opportunity. They have to have 120 hours of community service, and we know once they be get, uh, become seniors, they are having to have community service hours for different things that they're filling out, their scholarships, you know, grants and different things like that. Well, we want to make sure that we give them those opportunities to um, get those hours. And so we do that in person. You can come out. We have wonderful volunteers that come out and help us um, to be able to, like I say, network with those students. Um, and then if we know, you know, you're going off to college and say, you know, you want to be a nurse or you're going into the medical field. We have a wonderful partnerships um, with Dr. Cheryl Duncan to where she connects those students with mentors. And so we are super excited, just like our special guest sitting over here to my right. Um, she's financial. And so we have kids who may want to go into the financial or learn more about that. Well, guess what? We are connecting those students with our special guests because she's willing to give of her time, her gifts, her talents, and her abilities to be able to pour into a student and say, okay, here, here is a path that you can go. And we love that. And so, you know, we're excited. There's so many ways where we can imp, uh, make an impact in children's lives and their families' lives. Yes. And when we get back from our break, our special guest is going to tell us all the different interesting things that she does and how she helps families and young people make smart choices that will affect them for the rest of their lives. So I am excited to Me hear too. about that. But before we go on our break, uh, quickly what else because we don't have that much time left in summer what else are y'all doing for summer uh, strictly going school shopping <laughs> you mean clothes not supplies right clothes shoes yes clothes and shoes okay, okay. Like why do you need pants. why do you need more clothes well, I don't want to wear the same clothes that I wore last year. So who who's gonna care? <laughs> Me, I'm gonna care. Girl. Why? Cause I'm gonna look the best in school. See, me personally, I don't care if someone calls out what I'm wearing, because I'll just make fun of everything about them. Oh, oh my oh. lord! <laughs> so my plans for the summer are to, you know, just keep writing. I've been writing a lot recently have been creating stories so my plan are try to uh create more so nice. maybe try to Read find more book. scholarships yes Woohoo! yeah she, she's been trying to get me to apply for more scholarships so maybe look for some of those that I can apply for during the school year <laughs> yes five a month oh he has to <laughs> do five a month he wants me to be successful yes as for my plans 
I'm planning on doing some more vocal work, which I have been watching a few lessons by the talented Steve Bloom. Shout out to him, by the way. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, all right then. But yeah, so we're we're excited. All right. All right. Well, then we'll be back in just a minute or two. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the uh, on the other side of the break. आप सुन रहे हैं सनम जंग को और आप सुन रहे हैं रेडियो दबंग को. You're listening to Radio Dabang 99.5 FM. Be Dabang. Value is for big dreams and little ones. It's for your friends, your family, and your future. At Discount Power, we believe in the power of value. We know you do too. It's why our electricity plans are made to fit your budget and your life. We want to help you spend more time and money on what matters to you because that's what matters to us. Discount Power, helping you save on electricity. Visit discountpowertx.com and sign up today. PUCT number one zero one seven seven. जिंदगी में हादसा एक बार होता है पर हमेशा याद रहता है एक्सीडेंट हो जाए तो कौन आपके बिल्स पे करेगा आपको जरूरत है एक ऐसे अटॉर्नी की जो आपके साथ खड़ा रहे जेम्स परकिंस आपके हक के लिए इंश्योरेंस कंपनी से लड़ेगा जेम्स परकिंस आपके हक का पैसा आपको दिलवाएगा जेम्स परकिंस आपका केस जीतेगा तभी अपनी फीस लेगा जेम्स परकिंस तीस साल से पर्सनल इंजरी और एक्सीडेंट क्लेम केसेस जीत रहा है अपने केस की फ्री असेसमेंट करवाए आपकी जबान में बात करें अभी कॉल करें सेवन वन थ्री सेवन एट वन जीरो सिक्स सिक्स जीरो सेवन वन थ्री सेवन एट वन जीरो सिक्स सिक्स जीरो Houston, we have great news. The premier Indian jewelry brand Tanishq is opening soon, right here in the Houston Galleria area. Tata ki peshkash ab Houston mein. Looking for a job? Tanishq is hiring and is looking for sales representatives for their Houston location. Attractive salaries. Must be multilingual and must have a work permit. Send your resume to tanishqhouston at gmail dot com. That's T A N I S H Q Houston at gmail dot com. Tanishq. Coming soon to the Houston Galleria area. Easy Honda's Drive Home Happy Sales Event is going on now. One of the largest selections of new Hondas in Houston. Over 150 pre-owned vehicles, $99 down, $199 a month. Finding the deal you want is so easy. Rows and rows of vehicles priced under $15 grand. One owner trades, Easy Honda service loaners, lease returns, plus one of the largest selections of new Hondas in Houston. Go to easyhonda.com to see our entire inventory and start the buying process with our Easy Pass. Don't delay. Rows and rows of used vehicles priced under $15. Grand, ninety nine dollars down, one ninety nine a month. Who does that? Easy does it. These deals won't last. Don't let someone else drive off in your next vehicle. Hurry into Houston's only twenty twenty two President's Award winner, Easy Honda, on the Katy Freeway between Gessner and Beltway Eight. Easy Honda, making it easy. Use two thousand seven Honda Pilot, stock number thirty eight eighty one, sale price sixty nine ninety five, ninety nine dollars down. Payments of one ninety nine for forty eight months at eight point nine percent financing with approved credit. Prices plus tax, title, license, and one fifty dollar fee. Struggling to find answers on getting an investment visa, wanting to get a green card and change your visa status? We've got the right person for you. EB5 Investment Visa is the best option, and Managing Director Pardeep Kumar from Houston EB5 is here to help you get a green card in the shortest possible time and change your H1B, L1, F1, B1 visa status in two months and live the American dream for you and your family. Houston EB5 has been the industry leader for over 12 years. They already help 700 plus families and sponsored 1,400 plus green cards through 17 successful EB5 projects. 100% approval rate and 100% capital return on multiple. Offerings with amazing returns. Call Pardeep Kumar, Managing Director of Houston EB5 today at eight one three three six one nine one two two. That's eight one three three six one nine one two two. Houston EB5, your gateway to get the green card and secure investment. Boy, wow! Catering is like this. Appetizer has so much variety. And dessert, see, ah ha ha ha, ban kar raha hai. Sab khaa jao. Aur ek hamari shaadi thi. Ten years ago, but we don't have to listen to it today. The rasgulle was fine. The curry was not fine. And the turkey was like the one that you said. But here, catering is so much fun. Why don't we get married again? Huh? 
<laughs> अब तो सब पूछेंगे कैटरिंग वाले कौन है सेवॉय रेस्टोरेंट जिसकी सर्विस है शानदार जो आपकी पार्टी को बना दे जानदार जिनका एपिटाइजर फूड और डेजर्ट फूड है वर्ल्ड फेमस साथ ही मजा लीजिए लाइव ब्रिस्कट स्टेशन और हाई क्वालिटी हलाल मीट का एवरी थिंग यू नीड इज अवेलेबल हियर कॉन्टेक्ट मोनिका एट थ्री टू सिक्स सेवन टू नाइन फाइव डबल नाइन इफ कॉल इज मिस्ड प्लीज लीव अ डिटेल मैसेज इन वर्ल्ड There's only one frequency that can do it all. Radio The Bong 99.5 FM. The The Bong. Buddy, hello. This is the Embracing Diversity Radio Show, and this is Leona Phillips, and I am here with a whole uh, studio full of people, and including the wonderful and talented Dr. Zanova. Yes. Good morning again. So excited to be back, and I am trying to step in the shoes of Dr. Scott, who is not here today, but I know she should be on uh, watching on Facebook. And so, if you are, you need to leave us a comment, <laughs> or you need to, you need to call. No, do not no call, call in. Do not call save in. Save your voice. Yes, yeah, save Relax. your voice. Do not do not call. <laughs> <laughs> so you just need to make sure that, you know, you're leaving comments, you know, and be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so t- talk about nice. We yeah. have Crystal here. And yes. Crystal is really nice. Very nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so can, can you tell everybody what you do? Yes, um, I am a financial services professional, so it's very important that we share the message with our communities about financial literacy. There are so many misconceptions out there about finance and how things should be done. And there's a lot of resources, but still the misconceptions are there. So as a business owner, it is my duty to reach out to the community as a community service and provide financial literacy workshops on these most important topics for our families. Oh, the workshop. Now, I oh. love workshops. Okay, yes. so tell me, how can people find you and go to your workshops? Is Are you on social media anywhere? I am on social media. You can find me by my name. Oh. Okay. Gomez. Now, right. I put an H in crystal, and that was wrong. So. Yes. <laughs> C-A-R-Y-S-T-A-L. Like, you know. Swarthofsky or Ooh, Diamonds. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a girl's nice. best friend. Oh. <laughs> I love Diamonds. Mm. <laughs> that used to be my birthstone, too. Oh, I'm okay. So oh, <laughs> yes. That's mine, too. And today, I'd like to share some information with you about my grandfather. Okay. My grandfather, Dr. Joel O. Tate, was a dentist in Mississippi. And he was also a proponent of community service. This is where I get it from. It's in my blood. Okay. Um, He established a group called the People of Mississippi that allowed job training and job through Job Corps Mississippi for low-income people to become entrepreneurs and gain skills. Um, Because of his work in the community, they've named the street after him. Oh, Oh, awesome. So if you are traveling to Gulfport, Mississippi, you can Google it. It's Dr. Joel O. Tate Avenue in front of the Job Corps in Gulfport, Mississippi. Oh, so okay. Wow. Oh, oh, I'm out. There we go. Yes, the beach is there. The beach oh, is okay. wonderful. <laughs> so because of his community service, Dr. Tate was also a veteran. He was one of the first dentists. Um, in the area and in the Air Force. Oh, and he became oh awesome. A pediatric dentist. Aww. So it is my honor to present to Safe Diversity a $1,000 oh scholarship. Oh my gosh. Yay! Oh, oh. All right, awesome. <laughs> so it will be named the Dr. Joel O. Tate Memorial Scholarship. Oh, that goodness. is amazing. Thank so yes. Thank, Thank you. you. It is to be involved with this organization. I'm so excited to see the places that it would go. Thank you for having me uh-huh. here today. And it is uh, on behalf of the Tate and Gomez family, 
We are so excited oh for this. Oh, my God. Awesome. Why, thank you. And we are, I know our students are going to enjoy this. Yes. Here, oh, Jazz. Wait, let me can, see if I can get a picture. Jazz, yeah, you can hold that sure. up, or you and her, and if oh, you'll, and then yeah. get a picture. Here we go. All nice. right, and we cheese. love that. They say, say cheese. Okay, so Miss <laughs> um, Miss Crystal, I know you said that you're doing the um, community service. So you teach families. So here's my question because we deal a lot. We not only deal with our families, but we deal with our teens. So yeah. do you have classes to where you are talking to our uh, teens about uh, financial choices that they make now and how it will affect them in the future. Absolutely. So as a young adult, okay. you know, we are faced with many financial choices right away. When we're, maybe we're out on our own, we're leaving home and we're no longer um, under our parents' watch. So we do mm -hmm. have to make those financial choices. Maybe we're getting our own apartment. You need to have the insurance. You're purchasing a car. You need to have the insurance for the car, mm. um, a checking account, a debit card. Maybe oh, yeah. there's a credit card involved. So there's very important decisions made around developing good spending habits and possibly even saving a portion of your money. Oh. If we begin these habits very early in life and continue them on, we will be successful. We can't wait until we get a job you know, the job, you know, that we're waiting for. We say, we'll do it later. We'll put it off when I get a job. Oh, now I can't do it because I have a family. There's always a reason. So um, as parents and aunts and uncles and godmothers, we have to instill these virtues in our community and in our families to, you know, save a little bit of that birthday money. Yeah. Put huh. that aside, you know. As parents, maybe we can incentivize them. You put a little aside, I'll match it. Oh, that's Ooh, a good one. I like that. Okay, don't. No. <laughs> yeah, because I know this, looking over here. Uh -oh. So um, <laughs> what's the youngest that you've talked to? Because we know that um, young students, since we have, you know, middle school, you know, they earn allowance. Yes. Absolutely. So what do they, you know, a lot of parents be like, okay, well, you can just do whatever with your um, allowance. But I feel, and this is just me personally, that when we talk to, the younger we talk to our students about um, the finances and what's their relationship with money and how I think it'll help them when they get older to make better decisions as to you know what to do and how to do but i feel like you know parents and i'm glad that you're you know have partnered with us to where we can teach um the parents you know educate them yeah. on the finances and then they can then in turn educate um you know their child on the finances so i have mine sitting right here and he has a checking and savings account and was like, okay, well, I want to purchase X, Y, and Z. So my first question to him is, is it a want or is it a need? And he'd be like, oh. <laughs> you know, and it, it's just, I mean, it cracks me up, you know, and I'm like, you know, it's like, okay, well, you don't need that. You want it. But, you know, he was like, but I do need it. <laughs> well, absolutely. So if they're old enough to earn an allowance, then they're old enough to understand how to spend it and save it. I like that right there. Yes. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So our children, they do learn from us. They see what we do. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, I'm sure, generation after generation. <laughs> I mean, my parents were very hard workers, but not good at saving any money at all and so if we if it was in their pocket they they went out and spent it because they were also business owners so there yeah. was always something they could spend money on 
Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of the people here in this room is like, oh, I can spend money. You know, yes. I, I, I can. I know. Absolutely. So how do you address this if it's been something that's been passed down? Um, these these issues where you're making poor choices because that's what you've seen. That's all you know. So how do you help combat that? With these seminars, huh? Yes, with the seminars. And as Dr. Zenobia mentioned, um, our, our children watch us. So we have to learn to do differently from what we've done. You know, oftentimes we know we probably shouldn't do it, <laughs> but we do it anyway. But when you see the real impact that it has on you, then we can learn to do better and want to do better and teach that to our children, encourage them is don't do what I did. <laughs> Growing up, they always told us, don't waste your money. Uh -huh. But they never really explained to us what to exactly do with it. So we, the first portion is we want to save the money. But where you're saving the money, there are a lot of different vehicles out there mm -hmm. right now that um, many people aren't aware of. So it's saving is the start, you know putting some money away, but where you put it is equally as important. Having a budget is very important. Mm. You have to have your needs met, but also your wants. So put some money aside. Did you heard her, right? For She's those mm. wants. Uh, some of them, some of the wants. I don't have one thing I want. We're putting <laughs> the money aside. You're gonna save the money for the want, not Put it on credit. Oh, okay. And then there, see, wait, back. okay, say, say that again, <laughs> not put it on. But Credits. there's so many credit credit card applications that they give you at college when you're at the bookstore mm. and you're buying your books, mm. and then there's like a handful of credit card applications there in the back. Absolutely. Do not fall into the t credit trap. Okay. That $10, $15 a month can easily be $50. Oh. So. Over the limit. Mm. A missed oh. payment. Yeah. Interest, so. monthly fees, all that stuff. So if you don't have the money, don't don't put it on credit. Exactly. And then what would you say is a good rule to think about if you're just starting out and you want to save? You know, I'm thinking if I'm going to start a savings account, I'm going to need two, three, four hundred dollars or something to put a good dent into, I guess, my deficit. What would I mean, how easy is it to st how low can you start? with the savings. With some institutions as low as 25 for $50 wow. a month. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yes. I think that's doable for a lot of people. Okay. Absolutely. All so. right. I'm going to ask my students that are here. Uh, how, mu <laughs> how much do you save a month? Well, uh, when, I w when I get my paycheck, uh, <laughs> see, I have this wonderful woman who guides me. I'm not gonna name her, but she knows who she is. And she she helped me to understand that savings are important. So every time I get a check, I save half of it. Oh, wow. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very okay. okay. Nice. Jazz? Uh, well, I'm not gonna lie. Um. <laughs> That's good. Uh, That's all right. I, well, I want a lot of stuff because I see it on Instagram. I go on Instagram every day. So there's a lot of stuff on there that I want. And, um, well, the saving comes from when my mom says no. So uh, I could say I would save maybe $100, maybe, like, every two weeks. Wow. Woohoo! Okay. okay. All right. So we need a – that's what I'm saying. We need – no. Oh. <laughs> I can hear you. It's on. It's on. Yeah. Okay. How much do you say? How much do you say? <coughs> oh, you need to fix that mic. Yes, yeah. I did. I fixed but it. In getting back on topic, mm -hmm. since there is a lot of things that I want to get, usually I just save my money for like a whole year. Okay. Wow. That and takes that, discipline. And that's true. He he is he is the saver. He does not spend his money. Yeah, no, Josiah will not he will not touch his dollar if he does not have to. 
<laughs> it it is crazy. He has such restraint. Good. Yes, yes. I just like spending my money wisely. Kind of like everyone does. Well, not everyone. Well, we want to. <laughs> we just can't. But I think Miss Crystal is saying also save for the future, right? Yes. I mean, yes. and that part is hard because we're in an instant gratification kind of a thought process and, and thinking about the long-term benefits of saving money is kind of hard. Absolutely. So if we're going to be saving money, and saving for a purchase that's fair but then also maybe setting some some money aside for the long term don't touch kind Correct. of thing okay so a little bit of money over a lot of time it will grow exponentially so nice. as young adults while we're still at home and under our parents care <laughs> it's important to develop this important habit because life is going to happen mm -hmm. you know when you move out and you're on your own there's always going to be a reason not to do it but if you start as a young adult and you see the impact of it you will continue this practice into your adulthood you know maybe the amounts of change as you make more money mm -hmm. you can contribute more but you'll also have more expenses so you have to on at least an annual basis reevaluate is your oh. plan Okay. Working. And if it is, maybe you want to add a little more to make it even better. Oh, it's exciting when I open up, let's say, E-Trade account. And I'm like, oh, there's there's green numbers over here because my stocks have gone up. And then it's also painful when I see uh, the numbers in red and the stocks uh, have gone down. What vehicles um i think you and i talked about um the situation for people that have loved ones with special needs correct and there's uh something called an able account yes and every state has one texas definitely has at texasable.org uh, or gov you have a good website to look at that that's somewhere where you can uh invest money for an individual with special needs and then choose the type of account um, that you want to have for that that person for their savings and then also one of the uh, types of accounts is investing yes. and picking good stocks and letting that money grow tax-free but that's not available to everyone are you familiar with um, I think it's uh, some type of minor savings account where it's a parent and a minor Yes. Oh, okay. Can you tell us a little about that? So there are savings accounts specifically for college, and there are savings accounts specifically uh, for general purposes for minors, where their guardian can put the money aside for them on behalf of the minor. Mm -hmm. And then they can awesome. check in and see that money grow and mm -hmm. let it sit there. And then um, also, if you're a small business owner and you're listening, you need to look up Crystal Gomez because, so oh much. my goodness, <laughs> she has some strategizing to do. She can help you um, make the most out of your money and your investments to help your family lifelong. So think about looking up Crystal Gomez. Thank you yes. so much. Uh, Ms. Crystal, I have a question. Absolutely. So, it's not often I get to talk to people with in the financial world. So how do you get into investing I hear, I hear people talk about investing all the time and i hear how they talk about how it can help you but no one ever tells me how you can get into investing so how how is that possible well there are a lot of resources available now on the internet but the most important one is to speak with a professional such as myself um, not everyone charges to sit down and have a conversation with them um, so as a member of this organization, I offer my services um, to you. If you have any specific questions, I would be happy wow. to answer them Thank for you. you. All right. And I do look forward to um, having you in attendance at some of my workshops. Um, in addition to uh, Safe Diversity, I do workshops at the Houston Public Library. Oh. Okay. Um, awesome. As well, so those are all open to the public. Wow. 
Awesome. Well, uh, you will see me there. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> this is just so exciting because as a young person, you know, my attitude, much like this young lady, was to spend it all. I want to look pretty. I'm <laughs> smart, you know. <laughs> Even though my family taught me don't waste your money, save your money. I went to college. Those credit cards mm -hmm. came, and I tell you what. I signed every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand. I've been there and done that, and the temptation is there. And I hope that our students and our family members will take our advice and not make the mistakes that we made as they have such a bright future ahead of them, as we all do. It's mm -hmm. important that your succession plan for your family and your business starts now, not later. And in succession planning, it's not just if something happens to me, it's if something financially happens, oh. am I prepared for that? Am yeah. I protected for mm -hmm. that situation? And it doesn't have to start when we're 18. We've lost 18 years of power, mm -hmm. compound interest, oh. you know? It used to be when a baby was born, we opened these uh, different mm, types of accounts. accounts. Mm -hmm. I don't care about that much anymore. It's more about let's save for college. And most people that I speak to, their children are already in elementary school. So the sooner you get started for yourself mm -hmm. per, um, personally, for your children, your grandchildren, the family can contribute that birthday money, those report card money, oh, yeah. um, that allowance, mm -hmm. you know, that can be, you know, put in different types of vehicles um, that I'm not allowed, able to discuss today. And watch them <laughs> ride. <laughs> um, but there are just so many options out mm -hmm. there. And I encourage you to seek out a financial professional. Yes. Don't mm -hmm. think that you don't have enough money to do so because there are different types of professionals that will speak with you, that don't charge you just to speak with you. Mm -hmm. So um, there's different levels and not everyone, you know, has to pay a fee just for the advice. And that is one of the big misconceptions out there. There's a financial professional out there for everyone that can meet your needs. So do your research. And of course, I am happy to speak with you more than happy to speak with you because I think this is just so important in our communities and especially in our businesses. Mm -hmm. We have to put money aside, you know, from our businesses too. So as a business owner, I, pardon me, I understand the balance between, you know, putting my money back into my business, but it's important that, you know, we provide these benefits. Um, our employees look to us. As an employee, I look to my employer. So if you're the employer, then seek out some advice on what plan will fit for you. There's a plan for every man, woman, and child and business owner um, to save for your future. Nice. Oh, nice. Well, you're making awesome. it a lot less scary. <laughs> yes. So, I, that, thank and you. that is my goal. That is my goal. I hope to... Um, make the experience less scary for everyone. You know, for me, personally, my attitude was, I don't need all of that because, you know, I'm pretty and I'm rich and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to, rather, I'm going to be rich, you know, uh -huh. um, growing up. But there are certain fundamentals that we all need to have covered um, to get started. Nice. All right. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. Thank Love you very it. much for, yes. for this everybody we are so close to the end i think i'm gonna bump and go in and say yes phyllis law firm is also going to contribute uh to a thousand dollar scholarship Woo -hoo! Yeah. Woo -hoo! all right <laughs> we are yes drum roll we oh. are so <laughs> we're so excited that um you have partnered with us once again this year to be able to provide scholarship to a deserving students yeah. so we're excited so excited for you know it's just around the corner august 5th ah. 
Okay, we are off to college, um, back to school. We are super excited. It is going to be at Proctor Plaza, and um, we have um, flyers um, on our website for that. Um, we ask that you guys come out. We are going to have a DJ there. Oh, DJ. So I'm Ooh. looking forward. We got, you um, know, no, no. Our, um, <laughs> We're going to have a dance contest. Oh, so I'm second. like, oh, my goodness. Oh. So, yeah, I got to make sure, you know, I get my get my moves on, oh. get ready to, you know, get. <laughs> 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 so no moves. No uh, moves. But, yes, I am going to. Yeah, you're I'm going to be the one to beat. So just I keep seeing this. It's like ro the ro the robot. What do you do? I mean. What? The robot? Yeah, oh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, that's, that's not the robot. I don't yeah, know. Um, that's not the robot. Okay, Is well, it, then you uh, show so us it's... the robot. Okay. All right. I politely refuse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> work it into the J and J uh, workout at the next uh, yes. <laughs> Safe Diversity Outreach event where oh we gosh, are I can doing. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Can do that. All right. Here we are collaborating and bringing uh, inspirational <laughs> ideas to everybody. Yes. Okay. So dance off. And so this will be Safe Diversity is going to be giving away the uh, checks. Yes. We are going to be giving away checks that day. So, you know, hey, be there, be square. <laughs> Starts at 11 a.m. We are super excited. We are going to have food so i'm like yes anywhere there's free Pizza. food it's it's for me so free <laughs> if it's for me but yes please come out and join us we are so excited to be able to hand these beautiful checks off to our students so that they can go on to college uh, we will have even our college ambassadors that um, will be there to receive their checks while they're in college and nice. so it is it is amazing i'm looking forward to the speakers that we're going to have that will be there to be able to uh, talk to us and talk to our students as you know this chapter of their life is closing and then they're off to a new chapter yeah so oh. yeah we've been looking forward to this all year long so every yeah month this is the these kids, they... This they, is the cherry they, on top. Yes, it is. This is a big celebration, sending off these kids to college. So yes. if you uh, want to look for more information, it, you can go to safediversity.org. Mm -hmm. And you can look for us on Facebook and all the social media yes. platforms. Somewhere we are there at all yes. of these different ones. We are there. Not just Facebook, because I know with the younger yes. crowd, they're Instagram, like Instagram, ah. Twitter, okay. TikTok. <laughs> Instagram. Yes, Instagram. Instagram. I'm going to be honest. I forgot Facebook existed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we y'all yeah, know he young and <laughs> Facebook is for everyone. Oh wait, oh oh, oh we, we are call. going to enjoy oh. uh, a few caller. couple of minutes with a special caller. Let's see uh, who's on the phone. Hello to everyone. Ah. Okay, we told you you're not supposed to be talking. <laughs> oh. Oh, is it Dr. Scott? It's oh, Dr. Man. Scott. Oh, Dr. God. Scott's on the my, phone. My voice is not very good. I just wanted to say hello to everyone. I wanted to personally thank Crystal for sponsoring scholarship on behalf of on behalf of her family. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. It's my honor. Our honor. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all enjoy, and I will see you guys on August fifth. August right. 5th. Okay. okay. Thank you, Dr. Scott, for calling in. Which Bye, we Dr. Told you. Okay. Take care, Dr. Scott. Well, everyone, I said hello, especially and tell Jonathan, uh, Attorney Phyllis, I said hello. I will tell yes. Jonathan. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Take care. Now. Y'all, y'all know she wasn't gonna let that in. <laughs> I'm calling in. We love, we love you. We love it because we know <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a wonderful show. Thank everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, we had these people coming, driving in to town for how long? Long, long. <laughs> 
car ride with children. Oh, You're so good. Yes. So good. It wasn't that long. It was like an hour. Ah. No. No, from my... Cause Oh yes, Brooklyn we to, were Jasper. We yeah, we, we uh, wouldn't. Yeah. All, okay. We went that far. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And then thank you, uh, Crystal Gomez, and make sure everybody looks her up on the internet. She is all over the place. Thank you, Crystal, for everything that you do and for offering to help all of these uh, people here with safe diversity communities get a little bit wealth wise. And I appreciate that. And thank you to our RJ, who thought he wasn't going to get on the uh, uh, <laughs> camera because Mrs. Scott's not here. But guess what? We all want to see you Come because on. some of us are here. Come on. Uh, Come on. Looking, on a, uh, looking at us from Facebook and from yeah, YouTube. I, I actually thought I was getting away with it this time. And <laughs> no, we, we all want to see your face. So there he is. Yeah, Thank you. It's a pleasure you. to be here. <laughs> and it's my honor to be here as well and involved with this wonderful organization. All right. Thank you. Well, yes. we're going to end on that note. Thank yes, you very are. much. Thank you. You all guys right. have a wonderful day. University.